Are you looking for a small speaker system that has retro looks and a modern vibe? Well, the German-engineered Phonet and Vander Grub might just be it. It comes in this great looking, very informative box that has pictures as well as features and specifications about the product on it. It's packaged very well with a piece of styrofoam at the top here of the two satellites and the main unit. Now all of these come in plastic bags. Here's the operation manual, a power cord, as well as an audio cable. And they have this protective plastic on all of the shiny bits. This is a very unique looking 2.1 channel audio systems. You have the subwoofer in the center and the satellites on either side. I think what makes it look so different is this part. The volume knob is huge. There's yellow around it plus rubber. Very smooth to turn. Below this you have the treble, balance, and bass knobs. And note the power status LED. There are two 3.5 millimeter jacks at the front. Now one is labeled MP3 in, but of course, as long as you have a male to male 3.5 millimeter audio cable, you can connect it into just about anything, a tablet, a smartphone, MP3 player or whatnot, and as well a headphone jack. You have their logo stamped here as well as in each satellite. Now the total power output is 48 watts. That's 20 watts for the subwoofer and 14 watts each for the satellites. The frequency response is from 50 to 20,000 hertz. And by the way, the material, the cabinets are made out of isn't plastic, but rather is HDAA or high density acoustic absorber, which is more rigid and dense than MDF. And by the way, this acoustic box right here measures in at 270 by 325 by 185 millimeters. The subwoofer is 5.25 inches and the material that's used is cane lignin and the impedance is 4 ohms at 30 watts. Now the satellites measure in at 185 by 105 by 135 millimeters and the size of the actual driver is 2.5 inches. And that as well is made from cane lignin. The impedance is 4 ohms at 10 watts. The tweeter is half an inch, but it's not made from cane lignin, but rather polyethylene micro sheets. The impedance is 4 ohms and the power is 5 watts. Now there are a number of interesting technologies that this product offers, one of them being howl bass. And this really just extends the low frequencies, developing a more natural deep bass and surrounding sound. And in this particular situation, since it's so compact, it really comes into play, giving you well-defined bases in a compact size. Another technology is wider effects and it produces a broad and extended surround sound. What they've done here is included a lot of high quality cutting edge components and doing so they've been able to maintain its frequency response outside its central axis. And this allows for enhancing the stereo effect, creating a surround effect. And that's very immersive. I already mentioned that the cabinets are made from a HDAA or high density acoustic absorber, but let me get more into detail about it because it is very important for the overall sound. It is a natural polymer of high density and when combined it generates a more rigid and dense material as I mentioned before than MDF. As well the properties prevent vibration and leakage of sound and of course this is going to enable more accurate, efficient and sustainable performance. Now thankfully it has an anti-magnetic shield and this is going to isolate the sound from external interference. This is going to translate into pure crystal clear sound flow without noise interruptions. Now it's great that each satellite comes with a speaker cover because it will protect the tweeter and the mid-range. Also each satellite is ported and that's going to give the mid-range a bit more boom. At the back there are four RCA jacks. Note that two of them are for output. These are for connecting the satellite light speakers. You can see that they're color coded as well. The power switch and here's where the power cable gets connected. The main unit and the satellite speakers each come with four rubber feet. Now this audio system has all kinds of uses whether it's by itself or next to your TV or how about this. Connect it into your computer system, throw the monitor on top and bang you've got some incredible sound. This is essentially a great looking 
well sounding compact 2.1 channel audio system. When it comes to features, it doesn't have a lot. It's very basic. So if that's what you're going for, then this might be something that you'd want to consider. It doesn't have Bluetooth, nor does it have a lot of inputs. What they've done here is put a lot of effort into making this sound large. And in that department, it does excel. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.